Hi, today I'm going to give a quick demonstration on how to rig the control cables that we find on early aircraft. So I'm talking about this cable here, it's connected to the elevator, and you know, these cables here that are connected to the aileron. So if I move the joystick, you can see how it looks like the control cables are moving that. And if we look back here, we can see how it looks like the elevator is getting pulled back and forth. I'm being sloppy with that. But see how the cables are flowing you know, into the wing. It looks like it's pulling it up and down. What I'm not going to talk about is how to create this bone or the, the drivers that let you control. They'll use the bone to control the uh, control surfaces. I have another video talk about that and I'll put the link in the description for that if that's something that you're interested in. For this we're just going to talk about the control cables. So here we have our sample rudder and we have our quote-unquote cable which is nothing more than a stretched cylinder. I want to do two things with this cable. First I want to make sure that we set the scale and rotation. All right, you always want to set scale because it affects um, modifiers and other things. Uh, if you're not one-to-one -one scale things tend to get wonky sometimes and we want to make sure that we know that the y-axis runs along this cylinder here. The other thing I want to do is I want to move the origin down to here. So if I go down here and select those points and say cursor to select it, I'm going to move the cursor to it's right there and then we can set the origin to 3D cursor. And we can see that now the origin is at the end of this cable. And that's going to let us snap this cable very precisely to places. Alright, so we're going to start by moving the cursor here. And I'm going to put a empty or an empty. There we go. An empty there. I'll make that a little smaller because it's too big. And I'm going to uh, selection the cursor, and that'll let us snap. So this cylinder now is exactly on the origin of this empty. And we're going to duplicate these. Move them over here to that side. And we're going to do something similar here. We're going to select those four points. Cursor to selected. And then we're going to say selection to cursor. So now our cables are positioned exactly at the centers of our empties. And we're going to control P to parent and keep transform. And now if we rotate our rudder, the empties stay with it. And we're going to do one more parenting here with the cables. Control P and control P. And now if we move the rudder, the cables stay attached to that control horn there. In side view, I'm going to just put the cursor up here somewhere in front of the cables, and I'm going to add another empty. And from top view, I'll put it kind of bearish, I guess. Uh, this, this empty would be inside the aircraft. All right, and this is going to be the target of uh, for a constraint that we put on this cable. And I'm going to duplicate this duplicate this guy and I'm just going to move it on the other side of the x-axis so we have two empties that are in front of. It doesn't really matter for now where they are, we just need them in front of them. So we can take this empty and we can create a damped constraint. And we want to pick, pick our empty as our target and if your cable flips around somewhere that's fine. We know that we want uh, the cable to point in the negative y axis because this is positive y here so if we pick the negative y vector it should point toward this guy. And now you can see it points to that and we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to add another damped constraint. We're going to pick this other one and flip it. So now if we move the rudder those cables stay you know focused on, on these two empties and on your aircraft you would move these empties to be somewhere inside the fuselage or wherever else is appropriate you know the, the cable would then just kind of like you know go through the side of the airplane and disappear inside somewhere so that that's how you would create that effect that the cables are pulling the rudder the ailerons on the wing are a slightly different problem so here i've rigged up um, an aileron with exactly the same setup we just did with the rudder Right, we got the two empties on top, we have our cables, and we have the targets down here. So this empty down here is the target uh, for the constraint on this cable. But if we um, rotate the aileron, look what happens to the cables. They poke through the bottom. Right. 
and up here they, they kind of come away from, you know, if you're looking down here and I rotate, you can see how they kind of like step out of the bottom wing. This wasn't a problem on the rudder because the, the cables went into the fuselage and they just kind of disappeared inside there and we didn't really care. But on the wing, it, it really um, ruins the effect or the illusion that these cables are really cables. They look more like rods that are getting stuck in there. So what I want to do is I'm going to just make sure that I'm on normal. I'm going to just move these up a bit. It doesn't really matter how much for now. We can always move them down later. I just want them not touching the wing down there. And I'm going to duplicate one of these cables and I'm going to unparent it. All right. And I'm basically going to do the same thing in reverse. I'm going to move this cable down to this constraint at the bottom and for the damped effect I'm going to replace the target with the one at the top of the wing. All right, and basically what we've done now is we've created a piston. And let's do the same thing with this one. Shift D to duplicate it. Alt P to clear the parent, because um, otherwise it'll track funny. And we're going to move the cursor to this one down here and selection the cursor. And then we're going to change the target to this one here. So now we have the two bottom cables directly following the path of the two upper cables. And now if we move the elevator, or the aileron, up and down, it looks like the cables are going inside the wing. You know, we don't have them popping out of the bottom anymore, and we don't have them popping through the bottom surface anymore. All right, and that's about it. I hope that was a quick tip that was useful to someone looking for how to do this kind of rig. Um, if you like it, thumbs up. If you want to watch my other videos, check them out too. All right, thanks for watching.